Hey YouTube, it's been a while since my last video. I've been having a lot of anxiety lately about posting videos. Um, just been really self-conscious about things I would have to say if people were interested in what I had to say, um, about the length of the videos, etc. Anyway, so I'm going to try to do one. I'm going to try to keep it about five, six, seven minutes um, or less. So anyways, if you're watching this, um, like the video, leave comments, share the video, add me to your featured channel list, um, share the video on Twitter, hopefully we can get this to 50 views in less than a week, still trying to achieve that. It's taken me roughly two weeks to get 50 views. Um, anyways, um, let's see, there was a book that was out, um, it's called... Um, I hate you, don't leave me. And it was a title that I've never really understood and I think um, some th sometimes things just don't click with me. And um, I think partly just because it's I don't see myself like that and um, I think my behaviors are just so ingrained with me. And so when situations do occur with me, I do these videos help because um, makes me think about what's going through my head at the moment and so I can try to describe to people what's taking place or the thought process. Anyways, um, I recently reconnected with somebody that I haven't uh, talked to in quite some time and uh, you know it wasn't I basically told her uh, that she's you know a shitty friend on Skype and then just signed out. And um, she contacted me, um, I don't know, a few days later, and um, apologized. And I just said, I'm sorry, and that wasn't really enough for me. Um, so I wrote back, uh, okay. And then, uh, I don't know, thought I would have heard from her. And after a little while went by, um, I became irritated because I hadn't heard from her soon enough and became impulsive and um, wrote her back and said, uh, you know, you didn't mean your apology, um, you're a shitty friend, um, fuck off. And um, so she wrote me back and she said that she did mean her apology and she would do as requested and said that I made her feel bad about herself and made her more depressed than she had been. And so it made me think about what was going through my mind and what I was hoping to accomplish. And I guess uh, for me, um, I did want to reestablish contact, but um, she had hurt me in the past and didn't try to reconnect with me and didn't apologize. And so for me, the way that I approached, I mean, I guess I could have, you know, the, the healthy way would have been to have, you know, contact with the person, say, this is what you've done, this is how you made me feel. But it would have been kind of a invalidating experience for me because, um, you know, it was basic, that would, I would see that as basically prompting her to apologize to me and I would be the one taking the initiative to repair the relationship. And really what I wanted from her was for her to uh, take responsibility and approach me. So I did want um, to reconnect with her, but I also wanted to make her feel bad in the process. Um, And I just wanted her to feel how she made me feel. And so basically I wanted her to feel bad in the process, but at the same time still talk to me. And I think by putting those obstacles in front of her, um, by making her feel bad and making her still uh, want to talk to me, that would prove to me that um, she was being sincere. Um, not sure if that makes sense. It makes total sense to me. 
But anyways, um, after she left me that last message, I didn't um, respond back to that. And um, I don't know, I guess I was in part hoping that she would contact me again and want to talk things through, but uh, she didn't. And I won't approach her, um, at least not anytime soon. Hopefully I won't. Um, but anyways, I guess, uh, you know, I don't feel bad that she's hurting. I hope that she's hurting, and I hope that she feels as bad as how she made me feel. And so when it comes to that title of that book, I think a better th title for me would be, you know, something like, you know, you pissed me off, um, you made me hurt. Um, now let me make you hurt so you can feel what I'm feeling, but uh, don't leave me and um, want to talk to me. And so anyways, I, I don't know if that kind of uh, gives you an idea of the mindset of a borderline, but um, I wanted her to feel the pain that I felt, but at the same time my motives for getting in contact with her, I guess, were genuine in the sense that I really did want to talk to her again, but she had hurt me and um, I missed her and I guess I wish she had missed me, but anyways, it's all kind of weird logic. Um, so anyways, uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave comments and I'll try to get to them and answer them. Um, hopefully it won't take me as long to post videos. Um, I haven't worked on the Lost in Hiatus project. I haven't even really posted any poetry on allpoetry.com, but I plan on doing that today. I have one called uh, Boredom, and I think I'm going to uh, post that. Um, so, anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, if uh, you want to leave comments, please do so, but uh, like, share, uh, subscribe. Share the video on Twitter. Um, I would love to have this up to 50 views within uh, a week. So, thanks. Bye.